안녕하세요. 이비TV의 이비예요. Today's episode is, be, is going to be about science and English. In the past episodes, we had done maths in English, English grammar, but today's episode is about science in English. In science, today we are going to be learning about biology, the human body. See inside your body. The co- there are nine contents. The contents are your amazing body, eating and excreting, breathing air, pumping blood, bones and muscles, brain power, the senses, drinking and weeing, and body words. Pumping blood. All day and night, your heart pumps blood around your body. Blood takes oxygen to your cells. The pulse you can feel at your neck and wrist is blood pumping through. Blood carrying oxygen is shown in red. It delivers oxygen and is shown in blue. So the blue, the blue lines are oxygen and the red lines are blood. A red blood cell can travel around your body in under a minute. An adult heart weighs about the same as a big potato. Your heart pumps slowly when you sleep and much faster when you exercise. Your blood, your veins, your lung, your heart, your capillary. Blood travels through different sized tubes, vessels called arteries veins and capillaries the artery the spleen your lungs pass oxygen to the heart white blood cells are stored in the spleen this is an infection if we open the flap it says white blood cells hunt down germs that cause infections and gobble them up the white blood cell the germ this is a cut and platelets clump around a cut. They trap red blood cells and form a scab. Red blood cell and the platelets. There are three kinds of blood cells. Red cells, white cells and platelets. White blood cell, platelet and a red blood cell. Valves in your brain only open one way, so your blood can't flow backwards. This is a valve. Here's a picture of showing a heart. Blood coming from the head. Your heart has two sides that pump at the same time. A large vein takes blood back to your heart. The sound of your heart beating is made by your heart valves closing. In one day, your blood travels an unbelievable 19,000 kilometers, 12,000 miles. Blood going from to and from the lungs. Valves control the blood flow, the valves. This side pumps blood to the lungs to get oxygen. This side pumps blood with oxygen around the body. After each pump of your heart, the valves close. This is a closed valve and this is an open valve. Open valve. Blood begins to build up behind the closed valve. A closed valve, an open valve. Blood going to the head. A large artery carries blood through your body. Stretchy stretchy artery wall. There are blood vessels around the heart too. The artery branches off the the smaller blood vessels, the capillary. Oxygen is absorbed from red blood cells through the capillary walls and into other cells, the red blood cells the capillary wall. 
This is a block. This is a blockage, and this is a dead tissue. Heart attacks happen when a blood vessel on the heart gets blocked. Artery walls squeeze and relax to push blood through. Bones and muscles. Inside you, there are over 200 bones and more than 600 muscles. Without them, your body would be a, self, a shapeless blob that couldn't move. Together, your bones make up a skeleton that supports and protects your body. This is a skeleton. This is a joint. The place where two bones meet is called a joint. These are the muscles. And all over your skeleton are stretchy muscles. They pull your bones to make you move. This is another joint. Bones are very strong, but sometimes they break. Your body makes a special liquid that oils your joints. Your joints between your ankles and toes are called sliding joints. They can slide and or twist. Tendons join your muscles to your bones. New bone cells will grow to join the bone together again. Stretching makes your joints bendy. This is a knee. This is a ligament and this cartilage. Is your bones are held together by strong threads called ligaments. Cartilage help your joints move smoothly. Your skull is a thick layer of bone that protects your brain. You have 27 bones in each of your hands. They have long, they have long names such as metacarpal. This is your metacarpal. Your biceps muscle pull your pull, pulls to bend your arm. And this is a triceps. Muscles work in opposite pairs. One muscle pulls while the other relaxes. Muscles make up a third of your body weight. Muscles are made up of long, stretchy cells. When, when they tighten, they get shorter and pulled by your bones. A triceps muscle does the opposite to your biceps. It pulls, the, it pulls to straighten your arm. Here, and these are your biceps. Your spine is your body's main support. The thigh bone is the longest bone and your strongest bone. Your hip joint is called a ball and a socket joint. Your leg swivels around inside your hip. You can move it in almost every direction. The hip, socket, thigh bone, ball. The spongy bone, bone marrow and compact bone. Bones are made up of compact, hard bone, spongy bone and soft bone marrow. Your largest muscle in your, is in your bottom. It is called the gluteus maximus. Nearly half of the bones in your body are in your hands and feet. Brain power. Your brain is in the control room and your body. It's always sending messages and receiving messages. Messages zoom to and from your brain along with your nerves. A fly lands on the arm. The message goes to the brain. Message. Number two is that the brain tells the hand to swat the fly. Through nerves, your spinal cord. Your spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves that runs down of your back. A thick layer of bone protects your brain. It's called the skull. The main part of your brain is like a big piece of cloth. It's all crumpled up like this. Messages can travel all along your nerves faster than a high speed train. You are born with billions of brain cells, all you will never need. Sometimes you do things without using your brain. These are called reflex actions. 
Orders for reflex actions come from your spinal cord. Doctors test your reflexes by tapping below on your knee. Your leg should jerk up. Your brain is made up of billions of special cells called neurons. Under a microscope, a neuron looks like this. It has little tentacles called axons and dendrites. A dentrite and an axon. Talking, moving, touch, hearing, understanding words. We've divided the brain into coloured areas to show where different messages are processed. A message is passed from one neuron to the next until it reaches its destination. Each neuron has, con has connections to thousands of other neurons. Messages jump to one from another. So the message jumps to this one from this one. Hunger and thirst smell, heartbeat and breathing, balance, nerve, seeing. Your brain has two halves, the left side deals with logical things, the right side deals with more creative things. Each nerve is like a clump of wires with a protective coating, so it looks like this. Your brain is a really dull grey colour.